Hey guys, today we're working on a requested video, but before we get started, please hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to get notified for more updated videos. Okay, so today we are making meatloaf, and right here in this bowl I have two pounds of ground meat, and um, I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my onion. And I'm only going to chop half of this onion to put inside of my meatloaf. Okay, so now that I've got the outer layer off of my onion, I'm just going to go ahead and slice this into uh, pieces and then turn it around and dice it all up. Okay, we're going to grab all this onion and put it right there in with our meat. Okay, so now that we got our onion in with our meat, we're going to grab a red bell pepper. And I wish I had had some green bell pepper. Um, I would like to put both of them inside of my meatloaf. But I had this in the refrigerator, so I'm only going to use half of it because it's fairly large. So just like I did with the onion, I am just going to slice it up long ways and then dice it into uh, small pieces. Okay, so now that we're done slicing up our bell pepper, we're just going to throw it in with the onion and the meat. Okay, we're going to bring this closer to us. And now I'm going to put in an entire can of tomato sauce. Now, I usually use uh, Campbell's tomato soup. But if you don't have tomato soup, you can use uh, tomato sauce. Okay, now we're going to be cracking two eggs down in with our mixture. Okay, now I have grabbed my Lipton's onion soup mix. I usually use the beefy onion, but I didn't have that. So I'm just gonna put the regular onion soup mix down in with our meatloaf mixture. Next, we're going to grab our onion powder, and I'm going to put about a tablespoon down in with the onion soup mix, the eggs, the meat, bell pepper, and the onion. I'm 
Okay, last but not least, here comes the garlic powder. And I'm gonna put one tablespoon, like I did the onion powder. Okay, so there's a lot of people that put uh, crackers, uh, cracker crumbs down in their meatloaf, or they use bread that they already have. But um, I use the Progresso breadcrumbs and I get it from the grocery store. Now you can use a uh, Planko if you want to, but or Preco, I think that's how you say it, Preco. And so with clean hands, I'm gonna mush all of this together and make sure it's well incorporated all in together and make sure all that flavor is in my meat. Um, if you don't want to use uh, your hands, you can use gloved hands or um, a spoon. But I'm so used to doing all this, so it, I don't mind uh, putting my hands down in the meat and squishing it all together. As long as they're clean, of course. Okay, so I'm going to be putting a little bit more of the breadcrumbs in with the mixture. Um, you just need to eye it. It just depends on what uh, kind of meat you're using. If it's a fatty kind of meat, then you want to put a lot of, of breadcrumbs down in there to help hold it all together. If it's not a fatty meat, you'll just use less of it. Okay, so I have my nonstick loaf pan. This is a large loaf pan. And I am going to take my meat and I'm going to put it down into this loaf pan. Okay, so I'm going to start pressing this down into this loaf pan and getting all the air pockets out. And then you're going to see me make it look like a loaf of bread. And I'm going to start packing in the sides of the meat. And I do that because if you have a fatty meat and it starts to render its fat, then you're going to have to drain it. Now you can use half beef, half turkey. You can even make this just turkey. Um, it will turn out the same way. Um, but if you have this meat that I have from the grocery store, it has a lot of fat in it. So you're going to want to drain it if you don't have a leaner meat. So let's go ahead and pack in the sides just like that and make it look like a loaf of bread. And then we're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Okay, y'all, so we have just a few minutes left on the meatloaf, and there's my meatloaf. Um, we have about 15 minutes left for this to cook. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to coat the top of the meatloaf with um, ketchup. And we want a little bit of a glaze on top of the meatloaf. So I'm just gonna sprinkle all this ketchup on the top of the meatloaf, and then I'm gonna spread it evenly on top, making sure that all of it is covered, and I'm gonna put it back in the oven for the last 15 minutes and let it set a glaze. Okay, back in the oven. Okay, so it's been 40 minutes. Let's go ahead and bring this out. And there is my finished meatloaf. Now, like I said before, you can use uh, turkey. You can even mix the turkey with ground meat, lean ground meat, or even venison would be good. Um, I'm gonna serve this up with some mashed potatoes and corn tonight. And what I do is I come in with my spatula and I just start slicing it um, across. And then I do it all the way down the meatloaf. That way they can just come and get them a slice 
of meatloaf and serve their plates. And as I said before, this is a requested video and I hope this is a pleaser and serve it up with some mashed potatoes, green beans, or um, even a baked potato. But um, this is just about done and everybody is hungry and ready to eat. So let me know if any of you try this recipe. Uh, leave it down in the comments below. And as always, I thank you very much for watching my channel. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit that like button. And don't forget to hit the bell and be notified when I drop more videos. If you have any recipe ideas, please leave it down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.